Hello to another part of World Tour. This time we're doing the theme park. So, theme park, it's pretty much the same as all these other levels, really. All these levels have about the same kind of objective. You know, the scores, the bosses, breakables, um, fucking find the CDs, uh, doing a, spe a specific trick on something. It's all the same shit. Now, the high score here is 80,000, and as we pretty much know at this point, obviously it's not our actual score to get. Uh, for this level, it's 720k, so, yeah, we're gonna be having to get a big fucking score here. And the problem is, is there's not really many good spots in this one, so unfortunately, uh, you know, it kind of fucks us there, but, but, uh, it'll take that long in order to figure out a... Very effective way of getting the shit done. Also, the flamboyant flamer and crazy H are our boss for this level. So here's our new character, the lead singer, and there's the first bail. Now there is the part with the health bar there, which um, you can't get health back luckily by flying collectibles, but uh, it is like fairly tough, you know, like your health does go low pretty hard. But luckily, it only goes low because of the bosses. Uh, Bailey doesn't really hurt you that much. If at all. Uh, quite frankly, the only hard part here is the bosses, which right now, this guy here is a pain in the ass. Any enemy that shoots out like fire or waves or whatever are pieces of shit because they always have a massive fucking hitbox of this. Even like before it even shoots out, even before it even touches you, you get hit by it. That's how big the fucking hitbox is. And it's so wide too, that you can't really get around them that well. Which makes you have to like take a bit of a distance and wait for them to stop shooting their fire or whatever in order to actually be able to attack them. And as a reminder here, uh, your right here doesn't stop. You can't stop at all. Instead, it keeps moving unless you hold back. And if you do, uh... Sorry, if you do, your skater will, like, stop on his tracks in, like, an aisle position. Which means in order to move forward, you have to move forward yourself. Which will then, you know, get into an animation for starting up on the ride. Which wastes a lot of time. Basically, there's a lot of time problems with these assholes, and it makes that type of enemy, like, the biggest pain in the ass out of any other boss fight in the game. Be careful of these motherfuckers that spit out fire or whatever, because it's just annoying to deal with, and the steering is so fucking loose and problematic that it makes it hard to, like, make a good one any turn. When the camera is taking forever to center itself right behind you to let you see what the fuck's going on, and you end up getting fucked, and you know, not a fun time. Anyway, also around in these little areas here, we are locked up for the beat of the boss. Uh, our bosses are some of the tokens about to find in order to get ourselves a new scooter. So, you know, be, be sure to check out that before you leave, and then look around the actual level itself. Now, I honestly thought there was a secret area here, because as we saw in the last level, there was a secret area that way. Uh, there isn't. As far as I know, there are only a few levels of secret areas, everything else is just, like, the level itself. Also, there are some trigger points, which, you know, there is some destruction to it, but, um, there's no point in getting them. They don't do anything, they don't add to anything, and they're just there. So, unfortunately, um, some of these trigger points I didn't even know about, and I didn't get them. So, I'm sorry about that. There's one here, with this one little statue here. I didn't get it. I'm sorry. Uh... But yeah, now I'm jump cutting because I'm getting all these tokens because I want to get them all out of the way And I'm also getting all the other stuff out of the way as well They are so spread out all these fucking tokens by the way that um Yeah, it takes a while for me to actually get to each one 
There's even this big snake area here, which I this one right here is really a pain in the ass. Aiming for these in the air and such is a pain in the ass too. In fact, not only get to jump at the right spot, but your turn is so fucking weird that it makes things awkward there as well. Also, yes, there is wall riding in this game, but it's worthless. Don't even bother with wall riding much. Uh, or at all, really. Oh, so you know, right here, a bunch of fucking bullshit with more tokens and shit, and, uh, you know, some grind spots, including, you know, that spot there with the tower. Also, you know, I'm at 16 now. And obviously, let's do our people grind around here in order to get our objective. So as you can see, I've cleared it. You're gonna have to learn your trick, by the way, you can bail it, but as long as you actually did the thing, it counts. So, there you go. It's 17. It's 18. Requires you to be on certain parts of the track, which is kind of stupid. And, uh, by the way, movement is fucked because if you try to, like, jump left or right on a grind, uh, you have to hold left and right before you jump. And the problem is, you go flying. I keep going and fuck. You, keep, you, get, you fly left to right. If you jump, like, if you tap a little bit and then jump, and, you know, you think you're going to be moving just a little bit forward, no, you, move, you go straight. The movement for grinds is either you jump straight, or you go very far left. There's no middle ground, so unfortunately you can't control that, and you will almost always overshoot the jumps and miss the grinds and get fucked. And the grinds don't even work either, so... This game is really, really not well made. It's, it's, it's awkward as shit, and it makes the pain in the ass really do anything here. Also, here's 19, and uh, here's your crates. And over here, you know, there's number 20. There you go. Also, grind after the carousel will be activated. Completely random. There you go. Got the scooter anyway. Okay, now it's time to get the score. So, there's the high score done. Uh, I get the actual score a bit later on. So there's your objective there. But to get the actual score, I will need to do something that the game makes you think isn't that important. I think the grinding's more important than the fucking, like, the manual stuff, but, uh... No. Uh... Yes. No, the manuals are actually, like, the most important part of the fucking game. And if any other trick, the manuals are the most broken. The game never tells you this, by the way. You know, I'm in the manual. The manual says the grind is the most important, if you need the grind. The grind isn't that useful. The manual is overpowered to shit. So, here's what you do. You get, like, a nice little special going on. You know, you, you get your fucking bar filled, like so. Now it's blinking. You land and start doing your little specials. Now, you know, you keep doing this, but you double tap up or down or left or right. Whatever one you do, as well as holding the triangle button, you will do a special manual to do a whole bunch of points. Now, in the middle of this, later on, you'll find that if you do certain fucking tricks, which is flip tricks of up, down, left, to right, uh, from, like, down, right, or right, up, or up, left, or uh, left, down, uh, you can land those tricks with a manual. And, um, yeah, if you keep going like that, like doing China Airs a bunch, like I am here, uh, you end up getting such a big fucking score that you completely destroy the whole requirement thing, and there you go. Pretty simple, honestly. Uh, when you know that, at least. But the game makes you think that, hey, grind's very important, especially in the fucking race shit, which we're doing now. Uh, but no. Manuals are incredibly more important than fucking grinds. Uh, they're more important to give you a huge score. And, not only that, but when it comes to races, they are much more important. Because if you grind, unless you got a special going on, even then, uh, you're not going to get much. And yeah, you got the boost for yourself, but uh, won't do you much. Instead, what is far more important is that when you're going on a downward slope, you manual and you stay manually. Your speed stays. I'm not kidding. 
you just go flying as long as you keep manually. If you stop manually, you, you lose your speed. If you go on to do anything else, you lose your speed. But if you just manual down the slip after jumping on it, you zoom. You zoom past and the AI will never be able to catch up to you. Never. Only when you start slowing down will it happen. So the developers decided to add all this shit in the fucking way, try and force you to grind and all, and it just fucks you. It fucks your manuals and it screws you over. But I managed to get through no problem. I won, and here's your character for being this race. No. Oh, it was getting stuffy in there. Yeah, peace. He's what to do for Sany. Okay, let's look at the manual so I can know what this is, what we're doing on bonus level, which is going to be interesting, to say the least. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Should be around here. Uh, Lunk. He is the drummer. He is stupid, by the way. Of course. Okay, so... Billiards. This is a weird one. There's some billiard boards, uh, balls. You gotta pop them all into the pockets in about a minute 30. Eventually we'll be doing like a nine ball sort of deal, but right now it's just like four balls. Very easy and small. Problem is, aiming's a pain in the ass because the turning is so fucked that it makes it hard to really aim well with this shit. And the physics also act a bit weird. They also move on your direction of your movement too. So if you're going straight, they'll go forward from where you're directing. But if you're going right as well as straight, they will tilt, essentially. So it gets a bit weird on that part. Once you got the shit down, it's very quick and easy, and you're done. That's two out of eight bonus levels. So that is the amusement park. Yeah, short part. Every part at this point is going to be at least about 10 minutes long. So, just letting you know that. Well, that's about it. So, yeah, next time, we're going to be playing as Lunk. Check me out. Also, here are all of Roxy's uh, outfits that we got. So. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. Yeah, sure you are, dude. Turn of the Lunkster, yeah. <laughs> I like how it just cuts him off there. So, yeah, we'll be playing as the Lunkster. With our Model 3, because I believe we actually do use Model 3 because it actually is a bit better than Model 1. A bit. Not by much. It jumps higher and all. So yeah, I'll see you next time for Suburbia. Thanks for watching, everybody.